claiming them for their country. I shall never forget you and hope that we shall meet again someday. In particular, Mavis and I would like to say farewell to all the Government House staff whom we were not able to see today. Goodbye, and God bless you all. The prime responsibility for liberating the Falklands falls to the Royal Navy. Some RAF Harriers embark on the aircraft carrier Hermes and take part in air defense and bombing missions. The main event, though, is the Vulcan Swan Song. Operation Black Buck involves round trips of almost 8,000 miles to bomb Port Stanley. However ineffective these missions are, Argentina is persuaded to withdraw much of her fighter cover to protect its capital, Buenos Aires, in case of similar attacks. The sinking of a number of Royal Navy ships by missiles launched from Argentinian jets reinforces the RAF's opinion that they need a modern airborne early warning aircraft. It takes eight more years, but eventually they buy the Boeing Sentry. Sentry is a converted Boeing 707, toting sophisticated radar systems that can detect both low and high flying aircraft, act as a flying command post, and can even be equipped for maritime surveillance. By the end of the 1980s, the RAF's frontline reorganization is almost complete. It has received its new strike aircraft, the Tornado GR1, an all-weather bomber developed jointly with Germany and Italy. It is fitted with up-to-date electronic navigation and attack systems, which allow it to follow terrain automatically at high speed. There is also a fighter version, the F-3, which is designed to replace the Phantom in the last examples of the Lightning. of international peace never stand still for long. The breakup of the Soviet Union and the fall of communism leads to profound changes for NATO's defense policy. Overnight, NATO's main enemy is seeking peace 
and the strategic thinking has to change again. The British government takes the opportunity to propose reductions to cut the size of the RAF to its lowest level since the Second World War. And then Iraq invades Kuwait. The government's plans were shelved to counter this threat to the West's oil supplies. On the 11th of August 1990, the first RAF aircraft arrive in the Gulf to join the coalition force led by the United States. Tornado F-3s immediately start flying combat patrols along the Kuwait border. They are soon joined by tornado bombers and Jaguars. Supplies and troops are ferried daily to the Gulf by the RAF's transport workhorse, the Hercules C-130. Over the next few months, the Hercules carry nearly 14,000 passengers and seven and a half million pounds of freight as the military build-up continues. The United Nations tries to bargain with the Iraq leadership, but to no avail. When all diplomatic avenues are blocked, the air campaign begins. Tornado bombers have a special role. Carrying JP-233 runway busting bombs, they fly in at ultra-low level to destroy Iraqi airfields. Most attacks are successful, but these missions bring the tornadoes into direct contact with intense flak and surface-to-air missiles three aircraft are lost in successive nights. Later on, tornadoes switch to higher level to drop their bombs against Iraqi targets. Constantly on hand are the tankers, Victors, Tristars and BC-10s, flying near to Iraqi airspace, ready to refuel any aircraft that needs a topper. By the end of February, the Gulf War is over. After weeks of colossal air attacks, the remains of the Iraqi army is smashed in just four days. The RAF has learned a lot from the Gulf War. Despite losses, the tornado has proved to be a success in combat. Jaguar performed even better, flying hundreds of sorties without a single loss. The war also shows the staggering power of precision-guided munitions laser-guided bombs that are delivered with pinpoint accuracy to destroy military assets, inflicting as little harm on the civilian population as possible. But most of all, it shows that flexibility of response and training for conflict in all locations or climates is vital. Just two years later, the RAF takes part in an entirely different campaign. In the